I just knocked over all the lipsticks. <gasps> Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Chiswell and today is going to be a little vlog video and you're just going to follow around on my day and I'm going to tell you guys about how I started dressing vintage. So without further ado you guys, let's get started. Okay, so we just got some pasta delivered and we are both so so hungry. So I got some mozzarella and tomato pasta and there's so much of it. I'll have to keep some for later. Okay guys, so I just finished having lunch and I'm going to top up my lipstick and I realised I did not use white eyeliner today. I don't know what's happening. I am so tired. Like honestly you guys, I was genuinely like up. I woke up at like 4am last night. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to find my white eyeliner right now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, down here is just going to be the angle that we got. So yeah, last night I literally woke up at... 4 a.m. and I couldn't sleep for so long you guys I don't know why I was just wide awake and I started like just reading stuff and just like working and I really shouldn't be I should be sleeping and <laughs> um, so I'm feeling super tired today I'm trying not to make a weird eyeliner face you know that eyeliner face when you're doing your mascara or something you're like oh like it looks like you're in shock or something But yeah, I was literally, I think I went to sleep at like 6.30 maybe because I don't know, someone like one of our neighbors and my phone is like sliding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, some of our neighbors, they were getting like construction done and it started really, really early. So yeah, and the dogs were barking at like 6.30 in the morning. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to get any more sleep. So I've hardly slept. I literally had like four hours sleep. So I'm feeling like I look tired and I do feel tired. I'm not going to lie. It's falling down again. Yeah, I feel tired. I probably look really, really tired. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah. And my phone keeps oh, I just knocked over all the lipsticks. Oh. Guys, no, I do collect a lot of lipsticks and I just knocked over like six of them. What? Okay, so we're back to normal. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I'm feeling super, super tired today. I'm not going to lie. It's been one of those mornings and I feel like I might take like half of tomorrow off just to relax because I'm definitely feeling burnt out. I had so much work that I had to do yesterday and it was just, it was a nightmare, you guys. I think I stopped working at like, I think I stopped working at like 10 p.m. It was really crazy. Okay, my lip brush like went right into my mouth. <laughs> Are good here so a lot of people ask me like what lipstick i use this is something that i use every day and it's pretty in red by bobby brown and it is my go-to i've been using it for years it's my favorite and then i go in with my brick lip liner just to fix any of the edges and also to give it a little bit more of a definition so it's like a darker lipstick and I'm not going to use any white lipstick today I'm just going to go with some gloss and there we go so this gloss is Lip Glow by Dior and it used to be like a really really light colour like probably closer to like a nude colour and now it's pretty much a pinky red because I use it all the time so anyway, um, let's go on with the rest of the video. <laughs> it's a really nice day, you guys, but I really want to go in the pool, but this thing scares me. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it really scares me. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but I think it's fixing our pool, so that's good, but I'm scared. <laughs> but how cool would it be to have a slide that goes straight from here, the balcony, straight into the pool? <laughs> That'd be so much fun. <laughs> Okay, so usually I like to film my side, so I'm, I am on the balcony, but it is so crazy right now. Everyone's cutting their grass, and it is so noisy. 
so I might have to find another place to film because yeah, this is way too noisy and you guys will not be able to hear me and it is about me talking about how to start dressing vintage and I know a lot of people have asked me to do a video like this so I'm going to go somewhere else maybe in my closet and we can discuss this further because this noise is way too loud <laughs> okay so we are now in one of my closets and right now it's kind of chaotic because I always do like kind of outfit videos and do pictures and change my outfits for lots of my TikTok videos. So a lot of my clothes are not actually here. They're in like big piles, you guys. So I'm actually working on putting it all back away in my wardrobe so I can do a closet tour for you guys and to show you guys what like my basic outfits are and things like that and how to create vintage outfits. So I'm so excited about doing those videos and I'm so excited about getting my wardrobe back. And <laughs> um, as you can see, there's like piles of hangers and little pieces that I do need to put away so apologies for the mess okay I'm gonna grab a drink of water I feel like I have that in every video now <laughs> okay so so one of my most requested things is how to start dressing vintage and how did I start so I did make a video about how like why I do dress this way and I did touch a little bit about this in that video but in this video I'll definitely be doing more so how to start dressing vintage so it might sound really really crazy and be like well where do I start because of course in today no one dresses this way anymore it's really like a rarity and to find the clothes because no one makes them anymore and things like that and where really do you start so for me it kind of I just always loved and I did this <laughs> for me I absolutely love old Hollywood movies and because I worked in the film industry that was something that I grew up on and I just love watching old Hollywood movies and I always thought the actresses looked like princesses and I wanted to dress that way I just didn't have the confidence and honestly I didn't really know how either because to do the hair and the makeup like no one does their hair and makeup like that anymore pin curls are not really a thing like it's just really difficult to then find someone or find information on how to do it but luckily enough there's a lot of google things so with google I just started typing in like how to really start dressing vintage and no one really explains it to you so for me the easiest thing that I found was to do my hair and my makeup so for your makeup, I would definitely recommend a red lipstick and to do winged eyeliner. So I use just a normal red. This is like from Bobbi Brown Parisian Red. I did put it in the start of, the, of this video so you guys know what I use. And also I use like a Dior, I think it's called, I think it's called Dior Stage Liner. It's really, really good and I get it in a matte brown color. And I use that to do a winged eyeliner and that's really where I started and also do not contour with bronzer anymore you're going to contour with blusher because back then they would contour with blusher in different shades to create the same effect so contouring was still a thing back then in the 50s and things like that okay so with hair I looked up different YouTube videos just 1950s hair tutorials for me for my hairstyle I actually had to come up with my own setting pattern because I couldn't find anywhere that did this style and um, so I kind of was like okay where do I start where do I go and I found this book I will need to have a think about what it's called so you guys can see but I did find a book and it was about like different setting patterns throughout the years and I kind of pieced together something that worked for me. So I tried like 30s, 40s, 50s, so many different setting patterns. And I was like, okay, they don't work with my hair because my hair is very fine, but there's a lot of it and it's very straight. So it doesn't really curl very easily. So I had to find a pattern that would work for me that would give me volume and gives me the curls and the pattern that I really want. So I'll try and remember that book and I'll put it at the end. But again, I did make up my own pattern, but maybe one of those patterns will work for you. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so... With hair, it's really about just curls. So when you're starting out, you can have a heat curling iron and do your like one inch sections and tong that and just make sure that you pin it in um, to cool down and then only take them out when it's cool. I definitely recommend that. Use a lot of hairspray, setting lotions and things like that. I do recommend. Um, okay, so as well to move on to clothes. So with clothes, I would say check out your wardrobe because nine times out of ten 
you actually have something in your wardrobe that will look vintage or will make a vintage looking outfit. So for me, I do have a lot of different shirts um, in different t-shirts, different blouses. So I have my cardigan. So this is like a random cardigan. Um, as you can see, you can get these in like H&M, things like that, um, or in, in charity shops and things. It's a nice little roll, it's really, really cute. Um, and it just has buttons and they tend, to wear, they tend to wear a lot of this, either open or closed. I do love doing that style myself. And also, if you have anything that's like a blouse, so this is a black sleeveless blouse. I do need to give this one an iron though. I probably just hung it up and just forgot to iron it. And I make myself iron it before I use it for like videos or things like that. <laughs> so basically any kind of blouse, long sleeves, short sleeves, anything like that does work too. Um, and again, plain little t-shirts. So this is an actual 1950s vintage t-shirt, I absolutely love it, it is so tiny you guys, like I have a big head, <laughs> um, so it does take me, I have to like really like push this one to get it on, but any kind of t-shirts do work as well, you tuck it in with some high waisted jeans, I do recommend that, or just some like high waisted shorts, oh I missed that one. <laughs> So yeah, anything like that, anything high-waisted, you guys. So if you have high-waisted um, high skirts, shorts, jeans, trousers, capris, leggings, that all works because high-waisted was definitely a thing and the trend that they did use and then is at my tripod right now. <laughs> um, that would definitely work. Um, <clears throat> as I said, high-waisted shorts, t-shirts, jumpers. I do have a lot of jumpers and things like that. So anything that's kind of like this, this is called a boat neck because it's kind of like square. Um, but anything like that, any kind of sweaters, <coughs> and now the dogs are barking like crazy. <laughs> and dresses. So I actually find a lot of dresses from modern stores as well. So this one is a vintage reproduction, but even if you find a dress, it's just like this. It's long as it comes past your knees you guys so as long as it comes past your knees that's totally fine um, and it can look very vintage and things like that um, and also add a belt belts are amazing i love belts as you can see this is like some of my belt collection I as well again i will be doing a closet tour for you guys so don't worry you guys will get to see all my things in here um, but belts are a very big key so a lot of times people would wear belts to cinch in their waist to give them the hourglass figure shape and it is so amazing i absolutely love wearing belts i just love belts i love collecting them i love getting like ones with different rhinestones or copper belts or things like that i absolutely love them i know i've made some tiktok videos with some of my gold belts or my copper belts so if you guys want to check that out then that'd be amazing so yeah and with shoes i would say they did wear a lot of heels Heels were very popular back then. This is an original pair, as you can see here. I absolutely adore these and I'm scared to wear them even though they're really comfortable. I just don't want to ruin them. I don't want them to break. Um, but the heel would always kind of curve like this and that's how you know it's a vintage style. So if you find any heels like that, that would work. Um, also, they wore a lot of loafers. So I got these, these are from Marks and Spencers in the UK but I do have a pair of loafers um, or even like little kind of van shoes, little ones that I think, I can't remember what they're called, like kegs or something, I don't know, but like little kind of plimsoll shoes, um, kind of gym shoes, those things always work too. They were very popular in the 50s um, and little like kind of ballerina pumps, they were popular too. So anything really would work. It's really, I would say it really comes down to your hair and makeup. As long as your hair is kind of curled or waved um, and you have red lipstick on and your winged eyeliner and contour with blusher, you're going to be completely fine. You're going to be rocking this look. And also, don't feel that it's going to happen overnight unless you really, really want it to. Um, just go at your own pace and um, look up some inspirations from Pinterest, Google, like looking into old movies and things like that. Hey guys, come on. Here comes the you guys. And um, that will definitely help and just take some inspiration from other things and um, I look at a lot of like vintage sewing patterns um, and things like that it does help to think about different outfits because I do dress this way absolutely every single day I never have a day off and um, so for me I love to create my own outfits and that's kind of what I do I 
collect a lot of things you guys know a lot of like vintage t-shirts and things that are very similar and I just start making my own outfits and that will come with time you guys um, so don't worry you can build up your own wardrobe but just try and see what you have in your own wardrobe that will definitely work because I can assure you guys you guys have something in there that will definitely work so yeah so I hope this helps with how to start dressing vintage I will be doing some more outfit idea videos so like how to do different outfits and different trends and I will be doing some more closet tours and things like that so stay tuned for that and yeah. so everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like a comment and to share this video and I hope you have an amazing weekend and don't forget to check me out on TikTok and Instagram at Jazz from Chiswell and I want to let you guys know that I love you all so much and if you have any other questions about how to start dressing vintage then let me know in the comments because I would love to make more videos like this for you so have an amazing day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!